Hello and welcome to another TLDR US video. The US primary election has been in full swing for a while now, with the Democratic primary being the focus of most election attention. But as you might have heard, on Wednesday, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders suspended his bid for the presidency. This effectively ends the Democratic primary process and officially makes Joe Biden the presumptive Democratic nominee. So in this video, we're going to recap on what's happened in recent days, take a look at Sanders' campaign and how he's influenced American politics in the last five years. Before we get going, I want to let you know that our series, Opinionated, is about to return. Last year we asked you what you thought about a second referendum, foreign aid, burqa bans and weed legislation. For this series, we want to know your thoughts on universal basic income, the cost of university, nuclear power, and whether the UK should adopt a written constitution. We have the survey up now, it's linked down below, so tell us what you think and have your views featured in the new series. Also, everyone who completes the survey will get entered into an instant win competition, where everyone wins something, with prizes ranging from discounts in our merch store, to vouchers, to even free badges. So fill out the survey and get your prize now. It's been clear for a while now that Joe Biden had assumed the role of presumptive Democratic nominee for the 2020 general election. After all, he put forward some hints that he was already moving on to the general election campaign, including reports that he'd begun the process of choosing a running mate, as well as putting together potential cabinet choices, and even speaking to the Vermont senator about starting that process. If you'd like to know more about his possible VP choices, then check out the video we made on that topic. There's a link in the description. Anyway, while Biden has not officially garnered enough delegates to clinch the nomination, his lead over Sanders is quite substantial. It's actually possible for Sanders to overcome Biden, but it's just not very likely, as he would have to win the remaining contests by a huge margin to do so. So, why has Sanders waited so long to suspend his campaign if it's already pretty obvious that Biden will be the nominee? Well, probably the biggest reason is to influence the Democratic Party platform. The more delegates Sanders accrues in the primary, the more influence he could have over the policies the party adopts in their platform at the convention. In fact, in his online speech to supporters after suspending his campaign, Sanders did not endorse Biden outright, but said that he would remain on the ballot to continue to accrue delegates in order to have influence over the party's platform. Whether you like Bernie or not, one thing we can all agree on is that he's massively influenced American politics, especially since declaring his run for the presidency in 2015. On healthcare, for example, Sanders' proposal of universal healthcare has moved the Overton window in an exceptional way. If you're not familiar with this concept, the Overton window is the range of political thought within society's mainstream. If a policy proposal is outside of this window, it's not very likely to become policy. Since declaring his candidacy for president in 2015, the healthcare policy proposals that Sanders has embraced have not become a reality, but they have been embraced by a massive percentage of the Democratic Party, and with several candidates for the 2020 field, including Elizabeth Warren and Kamala Harris, declaring their support for Medicare for All. And while it's probably safe to say that this is his last presidential run, mostly because of his age, his policy proposals won't likely disappear anytime soon. So the question is, how will Sanders' departure affect the outcome of the election? Well, the biggest consequence is, as I said earlier, that Biden becomes the Democratic nominee and will take on Trump in November. As we mentioned earlier, another possible consequence is Sanders' influence on the party platform. The convention will adopt the party's official platform, as well as nominating the party's candidate. Sanders obviously has a hope of obtaining enough delegates to influence the policies that he wants the party to adopt. While some are wary of moving the platform much further to the left, this may work out to the party's advantage, because if Sanders is successful, it could persuade his supporters to turn out to support Biden, especially if the alternative for them is re-electing Donald Trump. Obviously, we'll find answers to some of these questions in the days to come, and we'll keep you up to date as the election progresses, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a video.